What would a typical day entail for a patient undergoing robotic surgery? My patients would be admitted the early morning of surgery, so they don't need to come in the previous day unless there is underlying medical conditions for which they need to see another physician or a nephrotist. They would typically be admitted plus minus five o'clock in the morning, staying without food from the previous evening. On admission in the ward, we will do basic tests that we need for anesthetics, including a couple of blood tests and an ECG. The nephrotist would see them prior to the procedure and they will, they will be wheeled down to theatre at plus minus six o'clock in the morning. I often explain to the patients that it's beneficial to do a spinal anesthesia before the procedure. Although the procedure would still be done under anesthetics, preemptive analgesia or blocking the pain receptors before you start sur surgery makes the use of analgesics in the ward afterwards much less with all the associated problems with use of, of analgesics. The, the surgery would commonly take about two to two and a half hours. That is complete theater time, docking the robot, doing surgery, undocking the robot and waking the patient up. By the afternoon, I would see them in the ward. They would sit up and we would start with fluid intakes and often a fluid diet as well. The next morning, these patients would be mobilized by a physiotherapist. And if I was happy with my water round, I would start on a, on a full diet. And I would look at the drain output. And um, it's, it's often possible to remove the drain as well as the IV line the next day. Most patients would be discharged on the second day post-surgery unless there's an unforeseen complication which may keep them in for a day or two longer. We have seen patients that has been discharged after one day of surgery if they made an exceptional recovery. This is often young patients with a very positive mindset. I would, I would follow these, I would make an arrangement and follow these patients up after one week in my surgery. By then, I will discuss the final histology with them. That's quite an important part of how you would go forward with your treatment option. I will remove the stitches and the catheter and show them how to do pelvic floor exercises. I will be in telephonic contact with them in the next two to four weeks to find out how it's going. And I often only see them after 12 weeks with a PSA blood test to follow their progress.